21. And please look at this verse. Proverbs 23. The Bible says, For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to what? To poverty. And drowsiness shall cloth a man with what? With rags. Please note these things carefully as we continue to study. Let's see that, that again. The what? The drunkard and the glutton. Who is the glutton? Someone that overeats. Now, in a spiritual sense, remember these are proverbs. In a spiritual sense, we will not go deeper in the glutton. The gluttons are those who eat too much, who feed on almost anything that comes around. Okay? They are those who are called uh, spiritual prostitutes. Have you ever heard of them? They are called spiritual prostitutes. They do not take heed to who they listen to. They, they heap to themselves teachers because I, I want to just listen to anything that is coming. Okay, you're saying this, they take it without even ex examining. You, you said, oh, this is true. They don't examine the truths. And what happens? By the way, even glutton brings drunkenness, by the way. Food ferments in the stomach when you overeat. But there are those again who eat less and they become lean, poor again. So, brothers and sisters, let's go back to this verse. Let's go back to this verse. The Bible has said, for the drunkard, 23, 21, and the glutton shall come to poverty. So what brings poverty among the people is because of drunkenness. Okay? Now, let us now go deeper. Let me tell you this. Do you know the most proud people are the drunkards? Literally. Let us let us first take it on a little sense. People who drink, they are often proud, very proud. My brothers and sisters, if you are proud, then you are what? You are poor. If you are proud, my brother, my sister, that means you are poor. Let us see. That indeed the drunkards are the ones that are proud. Now let's see what this drunkenness means in a spiritual sense. Drunk with what? Let's go to the book of Isaiah 28. Isaiah 28. Isaiah 28. From verse 1 to 3. Look at what the Bible says. Those who are writing. Isaiah 28. From verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, whoa, do you remember the war on, the, on those who are lean? It is here again. Woe to the crown of the proud. To the drunkards of who? Ephraim. These are God's people, brothers and sisters. The Ephraim is God's church. Present truth believers, brothers and sisters. But what is making them proud? According to the verse, the Bible says to the drunkards of what? They are drunk. They are drunk. The Bible says, Who is glorious beauty is as a fading flower, which are on the head of the fat valleys of them that are overcome with, with wine. Pride. Often people who have been overcome with the wine, they are often what? Proud. It means they are poor. When you go to verse 3, he says the same thing in verse 3. The crown of the proud, the drunkards of Ephraim, shall be trodden under feet. Now, which kind of drunkenness are we talking about here? Which drunkenness are we talking about here? The Bible says, now let's go to verse 7, those who are writing. Verse 7. But they also have errored through what? Through wine. The Bible says they are drunkards, they are proud. They have errored through wine and through what? Strong drink are out of the way. Many present believers, brothers and sisters, are out of the way. Look at this. The priest, the pastors, the prophet, those who are teachers, have errored how? 
through strong drink. Is it a literal drink? No, we will see. The Bible says they are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. What happens to them? They error in vision. They cannot see the truth as it is. They stumble in judgment. They cannot make right decisions. And the Bible says, for all the tables are full of vomit and filthiness, so that there is no place clean. Oh, brothers and sisters. Now, how do I know that he was talking about not literal wine? He was not talking about literal wine. Look at verse 9. The Bible says, Whom shall the Lord teach knowledge? Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand what? Doctrine. So what he was dealing with, if you read from up, this wine, he was dealing with the doctrines they have harbored. Brothers and sisters, there is a lot of uh, spreading like a coronavirus. The, the false doctrines are sweeping all through present circles. 